Have you installed the RV in your washer and dryer? What? <laughs> you like it? Our new decorations for Christmas. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Did we do this right? No. <laughs> Have you installed a washer and dryer in your RV? If you haven't, we're gonna show you how. We did it. Splendy stackable washer and dryer. What are the mistakes we came across? We didn't get the right vent kit. The correct one will be in the description down below. So come check out what we did. Welcome to Proceeding Onward in America. POA. Where are we going? Camping World. Yes. <laughs> CW. Yes. Um, I know most people are not excited about Camping World, but we are getting ready to pick up our Splendy stackable washer and dryer. And we're gonna install it today. Hopefully. So stay tuned and we'll show you some of the views. Hey, that's a bump or anything. <laughs> We got him and the truck. What? Hello and welcome back. Yes, we got the washer and dryer in the back. Yes, uh, it is. So, very exciting. And um, one thing that Fabian remembered, and we want to pass on to you all, is you need the mounting brackets. Yes, to mount the dryer on top of the washer. Yeah, because it doesn't come with it. So, if you go buy a stackable washer and dryer, make sure that you add on the mounting brackets and it costs about like 90 bucks or so. Which was very shocking. Yeah, very shocking. If you don't have mounting brackets or you don't purchase any, just make your own. <laughs> Save yourself some money. Or just strap it with a toe strap. A toe strap? No. Anyways, so we'll show you some of the views when we uh, get to the RV. First things first, let's remove the shelves. Ooh, that sounded good. Sound like it moved. There you go. Look at that. Somebody had reported that their drain wasn't sealed right, so it had a leak. So I wanted to take this out to make sure that this is not leaking or anything. I'm gonna test out the water lines to make sure that they are running, and the drain line to make sure that it's draining properly and not um, leaking at the bottom. Now where's it draining to? Our gray tank, number one. The same gray tank for the shower and the bathroom sink. I don't see no leak, but you should probably run your hand around just in case. Still anything for sure. And ours are sealed up good. I think this, the cold is actually the hot water because this is feeling hot. That's hot water for sure coming out. <laughs> this is hot water and they put the blue pipe on that. And that is definitely hot water. <laughs> we can switch the tops. All you have to do is unscrew the little top right there, the nut right there, and fix it. So you just can't wait. It's like Christmas, I can't wait to open it. It's like Christmas, I can't wait to open it. Unpackaging! Which I don't know if it's good to do out here. It is. Okay. This is the washer. Washer? Okay. Might need some help. All right, so found out we forgot some stuff. Yep. When you get your package, this tells you how to do the mounting brackets and all the directions on how to do it. So uh, you line up this piece of paper to the recessed edge. There's like a little tiny edge right here that you're just gonna line it up against the back. You just line it up to the holes and that's where that would be sitting in the end. And same with this one in the front. And that's how it's gonna look. I will um, make some markings with a marker more than likely. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how to do the mounting part. 
uh, the pattern and how it goes. Comes with the two brackets right here. Comes with seven little screws and three self-tapping screws. Since you have seven screws, which will be in the plates, they are not self-tapping. You will need a drill bit. The drill bit is not included. You need a three thirty seconds, and uh, they recommend not going deeper than five eighths inch into there because if you do, you can damage it. And it goes on top of the washer. This is some of the additional stuff that we purchased at Home Depot. Now you guys figure out who's going to the left first or to the right, how you're going in. Jag, you can't help. <laughs> Jag. Well, we got it part way in with our help. But yeah. Just be very careful that there's nothing behind it, right? Is there a hole? I thought there was a marking on the other side where it should be. No, well, it's just telling you to put it there. That's where I told I got it. Like I said, I got to drill a pilot hole out and then drill a hole inside of it and bring it in. Okay. Wow, that one's a lot easier than I thought. Now we're gonna need that something on the end of that, yeah? So it doesn't scrape. Okay, I know it looks a little bad. I will fix that later on, but uh, let's give you a shot. I know. Are you lined up right? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Went through for sure. Went through, but it's stuck in there. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do the other side to come out. Brand new RV, we put a hole in it. Ever wonder what it looked like? That's the outside. Inside, that's how much is inside. And that's for the vent. Uh, this is not sticking in the hole. It's sliding in right. Did that come with it? Yeah. It should fit in there. This fits inside of it. And that should clip on to that, yeah? It should, but I can't get this thing up. go. Look at that. It fit. That well, I gotta get the one that's made for RVs or something. Is that one not made for RVs? This one I got at Home Depot or something. And it's more for home and RV ones. It's like a different design or something. Now we're to the right side. Put the blue where it actually is the cold. See, now we never have to worry about it. A one minute fix. That can't be there. Uh, that has to be cut and clipped a little bit shorter. Think what you have for me. A big baby. A big baby. Uh, yep. Well, I had it. I'm told to hold it. You got it? Sure. I think so. Okay, you have one more step. Okay. Oh gosh. Wait, stop for a moment because the cord is on the window. Okay. Good job, love. And look, you even missed the damp red. Huh. Perfect. Good job. That's a big baby. That's a huge baby. So that's the thing that we lift up to clip into there. 
Okay, that will work. Okay. Or maybe a screwdriver will be the only thing that you need. Uh, that's the flip that we needed. Perfect. So you did the pilot holes before I, before we got in here. Okay. You used the paper, you did the thing. Fantastic. What you're gonna need to do is 332 is what you use for that pilot. Set the bracket thing up here. See if it matches. See if it matches. Put that baby on there. You get an eyeball where you need to put it at. Holy cow, that's wicked tall. Yeah, there's no shelf that's going above it all. That's give or take where it's gonna be, yeah? This pops open, right? Yeah, the kick plate. Because you're gonna have to screw it in. There you go. I'm just seeing if I can match it. Let's go back a little bit, but yeah. Close enough for the government. You're using, you're using your hand, but you don't know how far over it needs to go. The top is definitely the top of my hand. So definitely can put a hole there and feed the thing there. You sure that's about the same area? Sure you don't want measuring tape? You can take a measuring tape. That's what he does. He distracts me to go get something and he starts working on something. So I can't be filming. And then he gets mad that I'm filming everything. And then when he went to put a movie together, he's like, oh, Why did you film this? Why did you film this? Why didn't you record that? Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do this? YouTube is a thing in blood. It's memories. All right, we're going to measure, or are you just going to do a random haul? It's about eight inches to the top hole, about We'll have a 90 degree soon for that. I'm thinking I should probably cut this a little bit bigger, but I can't really squeeze it through. So what the freak is that for? <laughs> this is to keep the holes. Into the, the hole. Into the hole. That way it drains out that way. You could probably nail it. Right now, what I need to do, so we can even use this thing, is that we gotta remove these bolts. What size is that? This is a uh, 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter, ouch. This is what locks the washer drum down. So it doesn't move so it doesn't during move movement or during transportation. transportation. During movement. <laughs> move four screws and the rubber. Yeah. Move the rubber. What's this? There you go, wow. Huh. It's not what I expected. And then you take the cap. Stick the cat in to seal it up. What did you learn? You can use the screw to pull out the rubber cap. So you can use the screw to pull out the rubber cap. Oh, you wiggle it with that. God, this is so wiggly. Boom. There you go. Yay. Next is to install the water hoses. Hot water. And you know it's hot because it's red. Yep. Cold water. Look at that. Well, then that just make it easier. I don't know if that's a good thing, though. I don't know either. Yeah, before I get that up here. Alright, plugged in. Should we read the instructions and see what it says, what we should do first? Wash. <laughs> 30 minutes. Let's turn on the cold water. Make sure there's no leaks. 
I hear water going in. I don't see any leaks or anything. I can turn them on the hot. You should not do the washer empty. It will get it out of balance. So let's throw something in. All right, we need to put detergent in it too. All right, so here it is. Yay. And then you have compartment number one, which is for your pre-wash detergent. That's your powder, no liquid. Number two is for your wash cycle, which you're gonna have for powder or liquid. And then compartment three, right over here, is your fabric softeners and so forth. Do not go past the grid. And then this one is your extra compartment. You just slip it on through. Boop. And that is um, if you want to have bleach, which we're never going to probably do pre-wash detergent, so we'll just leave the bleach in there. And that's that. Turn it on. Let's do quick wash. You got to hold for two seconds. One, two. And then we just see. So when it first started, 30 minutes, just spun around with nothing going on. And then two minutes later, finally shot water. Yeah, it keeps getting stuck. I wish I could grab it, but there you go. Yeah, we'll make it happen. That might be the best way of doing it. And then, yeah. Exactly. I got to put this on. There you go. She's gonna be a little bit on the tricky side. I gotta get it up, set that up, and then put it in. <laughs> Plug in. Hopefully it will fit in. Is it reaching it okay? All right. Did it line up with that uh, piece that went up? There you go. Perfect. Screw those babies in. There you go. I'll put the kick pedal back on. One of the things it stinks is when we get the other pieces in, we gotta undo it all again. Uh, Look at that! Got a washer and dryer. It's draining. It's draining. That didn't have screws in the back or anything, right? Nope. This is turning. Okay. Set a timer, I guess, and whatever you want. And Set a timer the and press the play button. Yep. It looks like a play button. And, and hot, low high temperature, or high, high temperature. Perfect. Several days later, we ordered the correct vent kit for RV and travel trailers. We ordered it on Amazon and it comes in three different colors. It's just easy to install. All you gotta do is just screw this black piece in the hole, screw it to your RV, and attach the elbow that we got on the inside. Due to us getting this a little bit later, I had to remove the dryer to make this installation complete. And once I'm done, just push the dryer back into this position and screw it back together. Go back to the outside and attach the cover that I said comes in three different colors. We got the white to match the RV. Thanks for watching and make sure that you keep following us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget to become our Patreon where just a dollar a month can help us make more videos like this. And if you haven't yet, make sure that you like and subscribe and comment down below. Let us know what you think. And did we really mess up a lot? <laughs> I think we did. I think we did pretty good. Well, good part is there's no leaks so far, but I'm gonna keep my eye on this. Mm -hmm. and until next time. Don't forget to keep proceeding onward in your adventures. Bye-bye. <laughs>
You want to smell it? Yeah, the people want to smell it. Alright, 40. Let's try 40. So I guess tomorrow we're going to be doing laundry. Yes, we are. We want to build a shelf. That way we can have the detergent nearby. So we got to undo these and move it down. So that way you can have a shelf there. Look, we uh, moved down the clothes and I now have a shelf for all our laundry stuff. Yes. On the next episode, we show some of the highlights of our pregnancy.